Toronto is in bad financial shape and that could mean more taxes for the people living here. The mayor and city staff want to implement a new municipal sales tax, but even with that new tax, help will still desperately be needed from the provincial and federal governments. These are much more urgent. City staff are calling it an unprecedented and urgent financial crisis in a newly released and long-awaited report, estimating a $1.5 billion budget shortfall next year and an overwhelming $46.5 billion hole over the next decade. Inaction is no longer an option. The city has relied heavily on property taxes, but that's no longer enough. One of the key recommendations in the report is to introduce a 1% sales tax to the existing HSTGST that could generate $800 million annually for the city. But coming from the people who can afford it, because if you don't spend any money, you don't pay that tax. If you spend a lot of money, you pay more of that tax. One cent on the dollar. Imagine the change that it would make if you had 800 to a billion dollars of new money a year. It's being described as a game changer. To compare, a 1% property tax increase would only generate $40 million annually. The billions that we need on a, on a year by year basis, uh, there isn't a, ta a property tax regime that would have solved this. But a municipal sales tax will require provincial approval. This is something that council has been asking for um, quite a few times over the last few years. And what's their response been then? Their response had been to audit our books and that audit is ongoing to show uh, how the city expenses uh, are, are sound, which we are very confident in, and also looking at the reserves that have been there and uh, showing what those are attributed to. So that process is ongoing. The conversation is ongoing and I believe I will be meeting with the Premier uh, soon. Other possible revenue tools include a foreign buyer municipal land transfer tax, a commercial parking levy, and increasing the vacant home tax rate from 1 to 3 percent. Even if we look at all of these revenue tools, we still don't have enough. There could be devastating impacts if the crisis isn't addressed, including significant tax increases and reducing or cancelling city services or capital projects. Today, the mayor reiterated the need for help from the federal and provincial governments. We'll do our part, but other levels of government have to step up. We did receive a statement from the Premier's office. They tell us they're working with Toronto on the third-party review of their finances to ensure taxpayers receive the best value for money and best services. Meanwhile, this, the Mayor's Executive Committee will consider the recommendations in the report at a special meeting next week before it goes to Council in September.